Three weeks and two quarterbacks later, the Pittsburgh Steelers had to give their third string QB, Charlie Batch, the start against Cleveland. The Phillies could use Mike Schmidt's glove at third base today. They find themselves down 9-4 to four in the bottom of the seventh. We'll have more coming up tonight at 10 o'clock. But for now, live in Philadelphia at Citizens Bank Park, Amanda McCall, Fox 43 WPMT. There has been a lot of talk about the spread offense that you're going to bring here. They touched a little bit about how Michael Vick would apply. But you know the guy, Nick Foles, you've coached against him. How excited are you to be his coach and be on the same sidelines with him now? I'm, I'm excited with everybody on our roster right now. The Orioles, Chris Davis, has been a monster early this season. The first baseman is just one of four players to hit a home run in his first four games this year, including a grand slam to beat the Twins last night. And speaking of the Twins, that's who the O's faced again tonight at Camden Yards. But already 5-2 with runners in scoring position. It's Davis at bat. Hits one to the gap in center. Brings home Manny Machado. Davis's 17th RBI already this year. We'll move to the bottom of the fifth with the bases juice. Adam Jones singles up the middle. That brings home two more for Baltimore. But the Twins, they take the six to five win. We're watching the fourth quarter live here in Baltimore. Of course, we'll have plenty more coming up from Federal Hill. But for right now, live in Baltimore, Manda McCall, Fox 43, WPMT. <laughs> well, thanks so much, Amanda. So Coach Harry and doing his best Allen Iverson impression. Talk about practice. Well, we're not going to talk about practice right now. We're going to talk about our preview show coming up at 7 o'clock at the top of the hour. Round one goes to the Baltimore Ravens in this AFC North Showdown. Round two in just two weeks at M&T Bank Stadium. Reporting at Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, Amanda McCall, Fox 43 Sports. Penn State came into Saturday's game all evened up in its all-time series against Iowa at 12 wins each. PSU looking to take lucky number 13 and stay undefeated in the conference. LaShawn McCoy reached the end zone 75 times and racked up more than 6,600 yards during his career with the Crusaders. Shady's jersey is now retired with another Eagles running back in Ricky Waters. Cumberland Valley's girls on the floor right now. And that's where we find Fox 43's Amanda McCall live in Chocolate Town with the Eagles on the court in the Quad A title game. Hi, Todd. This is actually three out of the four games that will be going on here today at the Giant Center. Now, nobody expected the Cumberland Valley girls team to be here at the state finals, but here they are. They're taking on Spring Ford. Very nice. Well done. Very nice. Now I'm joined by their head coach, Calvin Everett. Coach. That was pretty impressive on a Friday morning. I'm very impressed with your boys. Obviously fired up. Just talk about this matchup that you're going to have on Saturday afternoon against Carlisle. After yet another one-point win, Eagles starting quarterback Michael Vick said afterwards he's still waiting to put together a clean game. In the meantime, after nine turnovers in two games, the Birds are still undefeated on the early season. People like, oh, they're girls playing football, that's crazy. And then like, oh, she, she doesn't have arms, she's a girl. Girls can't throw, but no. Got an arm. That arm paired with the team's determination allowed this Harrisburg girls flag football team to reach its goal. We've lost four championship games. This year, we actually were allowed to go to two. We lost in the Raven tournament on the last play of the game, and then we were allowed to go to the New York Jet tournament, and then we finally won. You know, it was like we, we never gave up. These group of girls have made history here in Central PA. They've already won their regional tournament, and now they've earned a trip to Super Bowl 47. Ready? Ready. When we had won, I cried, because it was my last year, and we had lost for the past three years in the championship games. I was crying, I was so excited, never won them tournaments. And thank God it's on my last year, because I would never been able to play again. Now the bar has been set high to make some noise in the Big Easy for the Eagles to represent Pennsylvania. Just keep playing the same way you've been playing. Keep on playing. Play hard. You know, be smart. You know, because we're very detailed in what we do, and the girls know the game. You know, just don't don't miss a flag. You know, just you know, just stay stay calm. And if you want to play on the big stage, you have to act like a pro. They try to grab your flag, but they can't get my flag, so it's all right with me. We like to play around a lot, but we know how to get things done the right way. In Dolphin County, Amanda McCall, Fox 43 Sports. With Fox 43's Amanda McCall, who is live outside of Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia, I would imagine you ran into some unusual characters outside of the stadium. You know, Todd, they were unusual, but they were very educated about their team. We had a chance to test Philly fans on opening day. 
real easy. Let's start off real easy. Yeah, Tom, I'll start with you. Who is today's starting pitcher? Today's starting pitcher would be Kyle Kendrick. Today's starting catcher? Uh, Kirk Kretsch. Philadelphia's manager? Um, Charlie Manuel. Longest game at Citizens Bank Park. When was it? We not only tested fans about their knowledge of the players here at opening day, but also how well they knew Citizens Bank Park. Most home runs hit at of Citizens Bank Park. How many things there were? Uh, say, uh, 90? A little higher. 100, 120, ooh, 130, 150, 140. 145, 147, 48, 49. There you go. <laughs> Sounds good, 150. <laughs> I feel like you'd be a great contestant on The Price is Right. Two veneer programs here. Opening day program is good. Got here, $5. I have a couple of pictures here, a couple of players. There's some new faces. Hi, Henry! Jam on! With Stephanie Jeffrey! A little bonus clip, I like. Is it Eric Kratz? No. Good guess. I ain't Chase Holly. Nope. No. Hottie no. Franson. Yeah, Kevin Franson. <laughs> How big of a, a Franson fan are you? You got that right off the bat. She's a little bit of a fan, just a little bit. <laughs> So we're having a little bit of fun there at the end. Now, coming up later in the show, you'll hear from one of Philadelphia's finest in Mike Schmidt. Right now, Phillies are down 5-4 to four against Kansas City, but we'll have more coming up later in the show. Reporting live in Philadelphia, Amanda McCall, Fox 43, WPNT. Fox 43's Amanda McCall is in Philly for his first day on the job. The Philadelphia Eagles announced their 21st head coach on Thursday afternoon. One of the main topics that Coach Kelly addressed was his move from college football to the NFL. Do your job every single day. Um, come with a passion. Appreciate where you are. You know, good things are going to happen to you. So, did I have? You know, there's. You know, I don't think anybody envisioned this. Now that Coach Kelly has made the move, he's not only learning about the Eagles, but the players and the organization are getting to know him as well. We just want to uh, get to the the day to day process of, of 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 learning his system, learning what he likes and what he dislikes. We had, of course, studied. Chip for a long, long time, as many I'm sure in this room have, and uh, everything we had ever heard um, was was just so true. But you never know until you really uh, meet the person and understand their personality and their obsession with football and their uh, football intellect. The new head coach tackles many topics during his first Philly press conference, including his thoughts at the quarterback spot. I'm an equal opportunity and scorer, so we'll score any way we can. You know, and it's all based on what our personnel is. So uh, I'm not married to, to trying to take a quarterback who can't run and make them run or take a quarterback who can't throw and make them throw. It's, it's put your players in the best position where they have an opportunity to be successful. Now, Coach Kelly didn't go into details about any specific starters, but there are two things that he does like about his team, their youth and their speed. And he believes that they can win games this season. With the Philadelphia Eagles, Amanda McCall, Fox 43 Sports.